Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Hydroneer, the only game we can gold mine in just your pants. So this is our current setup and you remember last time, oh no it's broken, it's broken already, hang on, look there's stuff falling in and it's broken, hang on, hang on, grab one of these spanners, give it a repair, there we go. So you remember last time we added conveyor belts, so this is pretty much fully automated now, this thing makes snow and oh no why is there, can you see that there's just one floating there. Oh no, quite a lot of them didn't make it in. I think it's something to do with my... I tried to set up like a bouncer. Maybe I need to go buy like a funnel or something. Uh, and by the way, I've now seen your comments on these videos. I actually recorded like all the first videos before any of them went live. So I hadn't actually seen any of your comments. Um, but you guys told me, you know this like drop thing? Can you see this is like a little shadow? Like that's where if I were to drop something, where it would end up. Apparently, yes, you can change the drop target color. Let's try red. So now when I pick up something, oh yeah, there's a red dot. So I can see where it's going to land now. Oh, that's way better. So yeah, drop those in there. That will power the conveyor belts because this just melts snow, basically. So we got the snow falling from up there into this, getting melted, turning it into water. So we have conveyor belts. Um, I'm, I'm now stuck. Thankfully, there is an unstuck button. So yeah, we're now back at the top. So basically everything comes up here. The conveyors drop it into there. Out, I just got dropped in. And then this sorts everything out. And you can see these are pretty full now. So we probably got some fat stonks lined up. Uh, down here, we... <laughs> We have loads and loads of blocks. And if you remember, we needed blocks to finish building our town. And I think last time we worked out that our blocks wouldn't actually fit in. But some clever clogs told me you can just fill up your bucket with all these blocks. And then when you pick up the bucket, the ones that made it in... Well, if you can get them to go in the bucket, then you can just put the bucket in. Meaning you can put the right amount in the chest that you need to build them in town. Unfortunately, this isn't very easy. And uh, finally, one more fix I've got, <laughs> which were driving people nuts. Apparently, I want to put this like right at the end. Like the more pieces of pipe you lose, that's when you lose your pressure. I did know this, I just forgot it. So as lava gets sucked up this, it's got full pressure. And then as it goes through each bit of pipe, it loses a very small amount. So you only want to shove this like right before your machines, basically. Shut that up. And then we've gained some pressure. And then everyone can stop shouting at me in the comments. Right, so I'm going to leave that running. We're going to jump in here quick. Have a little look at me in my pants. Nice. Then we'll get this stuck on a tiny little mound like that. Why aren't you moving forwards or backwards? Right, and then we're back moving. So we'll head to the town, which is under that bubble over there. And then whilst we're here, we can come into the shop. And yes, this is what we want. A logic keypad. 98 quid that costs so we'll shove that on there maybe i should get some of these filter hooks as well they're quite expensive actually but yeah we'll grab a few of those and probably a funnel as well all right so then we just shove our money in there we say buy and then these are ours now right and then we just come over to where we're building the ticket office and we can see exactly what we need so hardstone block 180 weight the iron is done we then need a clouting bar of weight 10 as well sorted they're all the blocks that i couldn't get in there by the way i do have a pan here it's got some tokens stuck to it for some reason get out of there Let's just try this again. If I'm a bit more patient, and yeah, maybe I can drop all of these in. Oh, this is actually working this time, I think. Okay, okay, they're all in. They're all in. So now when I pick that up, that has all of them in, and that will fit in the chest, which means you've got 100. We just need eight more of those. Alternatively, I use my keypad. Anyway, let's just shove them back in there, and then we'll head back to our claim. If I can drive over this bridge. Did I rate this bridge already? I'm not sure I did. So you tell what, this needs a bridge review. Really? It's a bridge with really unfortunate height pedestrian guardrails. It's also made out of wood despite spanning lava. There's not a triangle in sight and therefore I'm not convinced any engineering has gone on in the construction of this bridge. So therefore I give this a 1.2 out of 10 bridge review. Anyway, with that piece of architecture rated, we can head back to our claim and then we can do several things. One being we can shove these filters on there so this should clean the lava because you don't want dirty lava you want nice clean lava otherwise your machines keep breaking yeah and i'm pretty sure you can put more than one on a pipe so if i like rotate it yeah like that it's now on this side so i think you can completely surround like one of these pipes ow 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 it's burning out 
So yeah, I think that's that's a good investment overall. And I'm pretty sure it said each one cleans by 20%. So by having five, that should be 100%, which might mean none of these break. But maybe the filters then break? Don't know. We'll find out. Right, we then got to quickly grab this thing. And if we plug that into this hole like that, we can then set this to 180. And then this won't make a bar until it weighs 180. The trouble is I've then just got all of these to deal with. And then I'm going to have to find out which one weighs 180. Uh, oh no, there's so many. There's so many. Okay, well, so those all weigh 10 each. But now you can see that number there is 180. So this won't create a, won't create a block until it weighs exactly what we need. Actually, we don't even need 180. We just need 100, don't we? No, we just need 80. We just need 80. So there you go. Once that weighs 80, we've already got the 100 in it. Meanwhile, down here, we've got little bits of cloutium. And this is a very rare ore. But I think I was melting it in there. So if I just keep adding all the cloutium we've got, we just need a 10 bar of this. And I reckon we're probably not that far off. So final cloutium piece. Hopefully this will weigh enough. I'm pretty sure they weighed like two each last time. So if we just grab that, pour it in there, then we can shove this on our scales and see it weighs. Oh, 22. Bang in. Right. Shove that in the boot. All right. So now we're just waiting for this to create the thing. It's 33 currently. I think what I might do whilst it's doing that, I'm going to do I'm going to do a clean up. Let's see how much we've actually made. Now, the trouble with picking this gold one up is all the gold will then just like spill everywhere. Still, we'll take it out and then we'll go pour it into that block. And we've just got to try and shove this back in the right place. I knew that would happen. Yeah, I found something slightly wrong with my setup. <laughs> right, where's the pickaxe? All right, get rid of that. There we go. All right, so we'll do the same with the iron. Boosh. We have the same frustration with the iron as well. Boosh. Then annoyingly, I guess where I've... Yeah, I've got rid of that. That now doesn't actually fall back in. So we need a little bit of snow to go there. Well, hopefully they will now bounce in. Nice. Okay, so now this gold bar, what's it worth? Oh my good, 10,000? Okay, that's good. That's really good. And then this iron bar, 8,000. Oh my goodness, we're rich. And I haven't even smelted them into anything. I could make like a, a gold handled axe. In fact, I will. Can I warm these up in the lava? Are you going to warm up there? Maybe they need to go a bit more in the lava. All right, that's been cooking for a little bit. They don't actually get hot in there. That's annoying. Okay, well, we'll shove them in the furnace then. Then they should warm up. Then when they're nice and glowy, we just come and shove them on there. So I want the blade to be iron, the handle to be gold. So then we just give that a boost. Oh, yes gold handled axe look at this so that should be worth some stonks as long as i can find someone to actually buy it and i'm gonna take all of these off as well just because i can oh yeah my funnel so my funnel i think wants to go there no that's <laughs> that still bounces around like anything what about lower down if we just get rid of the snow in there the funnel sucks <laughs> this is the worst piece of architecture I've ever seen. Yes, it looks like a funnel, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, maybe there it might actually be doing something. Ready? Yes. Okay, okay. I think that's, that's sort of fixed it. Anyway, we'll just get all these remaining pieces out that we don't need. Combine my tokens into one pile. Nice. Go and get my block. I think it's this one. I hope I've picked up the right one. I should be able to weigh it and it will tell me it weighs 80. So we'll shove that in the boot. I might actually raise the weight limit just so I don't get like loads of blocks. So if we go for 4,000. So I remember there was those oil rigs that I want to build, but I don't really know like what they cost or anything. We then make the journey back to the shop again where we can shove our remaining block in there. Okay, that counts. Nice. Then we just need the cloutium bar, which I have right here. So shove you in. Boosh. And then we can give that a purchase and we have built a ticket office. Hello there. So, oh, this is what we use tokens for. I've got loads of tokens. I think these are all given to me from buying the uh, the dinosaur. Well, not buying the dinosaur, finding the dinosaur bones. So if I do that, we have a ticket. So ticket goes in the back. I should probably try and sell my axe as well. Actually, I should probably not leave all my money there as well. That would give someone an easy ride next time they were looking around the village. Anyway, this guy here. Oh, he doesn't want he doesn't want an axe. I could go to the jeweler, but it's a mile away. I can't really be bothered. But I'm going to because I love pain. 
Now, the honest reason is because I know that with the boat, I think I go to an island where I can buy vehicles. And I imagine I'll need money to do that. And currently, I just have an axe, which is worth nothing unless someone gives me money for the axe. So we drive all the way to the starting area. All right, then we can come to the jeweler. And then, oh, actually, no, the stock market wants axes. So, yeah, if I were to sell this at the jeweler, so yeah, 22,900. But on this stock market, which is wanting the old axe and the demand is up, we'll get 24 grand. Boosh. Okay, so we now have loads of stonks. So we shove the stonks in the boot and then we got to go to the harbor thing so we can use our ticket, hopefully. All right, so signpost says boat this way. So we'll go this way. And boat right. So we keep going right. And this area is making me miss the snow. So I've just got back from a from a snowboarding trip. Uh, and the weather was very like this at one point. Could not see like your hand in front of your face. Uh, might have a little clip of me snowboarding actually if you want to see that. Even if you didn't want to see that, you've now seen that. Anyway, we've now arrived, which means we can board the boat. And then if we take this and come over here, we should be able to insert it in there. Yes, and then that's gone green. And then we can pull the switch. Uh, I got lots of comments saying, oh, you can just do that however you want to. You don't need to put a ticket in. I'm pretty sure the videos you're watching, they were using creative mode. That's why people were using this without a ticket. Anyway, goodbye, island. Hello, new island. Soon after. We have now arrived. So let's reverse off this thing and see what this place is all about. Wait, oh, are we on some sort of racetrack? This is cool. So, oh, these are the vehicles. Right, okay. Thankfully, yes, they take hydro coins, which I now have loads of. Oh, Oh, what is this? The lava Thor. It's got mounted lava cannons. Oh, oh my good. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, this requires tokens. I'm so glad I brought my tokens with me. Oh, no, that's money. Okay, that's money. Everything else is tokens, though. Apart from you, lava truck. No one cares about lava truck. Oh, well, annoyingly, I'm just, I'm 200 short. Oh, poo. Well, I can afford this thing. So let's have a look at this. What even is it? It's like a, it's like a motorbike sidecar, but with like, Caterpillar tracks. What? Yeah, we'll buy that. We'll take one, please. So, oh my goodness, I forgot I was in my pants. <laughs> so, oh wow. Oh man, this thing has a bit of a bit of speed. Right, so I guess this is some sort of race course. I wonder how how do I start it? Oh, there you go. Current Oh no, the current time's going. <laughs> oh, current time's just going. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta do I think I'll just do two laps. And then we'll see how fast I can do it. And then you guys can let me know if you beat me or not. Oh, this is quite a cool track, to be fair. We're like going around the S-Bends now. I'm worried this is going to run out of fuel, though. <laughs> Why does everything have a fuel tank? Oh, we got a big jump. We got a big jump. We got a big jump. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was cool. All right. Okay. Rolling start. Ready? Boosh across the bridge. Oh, this is speed. This is speed. The racing line. Oh, no. The racing line is gone. The racing line is gone. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Well, my best time was 121. <laughs> Let me know if you didn't beat that, actually, as I imagine most of you would have beaten that. Anyway, after a while fanning around doing orders for the villagers, we now have this. <laughs> the size of it. Okay, let's jump in. So look how small we are up there. So this thing is absolutely ginormous. Because look, when we, when we press F, look at my little man. He just... Wee! He just disappears, but apparently I can still drive the truck. Like, I'm still moving the tires. I'm still driving forwards and backwards. You know, this thing does have a massive horn, though. Ready? Oh, boy. But, yeah, maybe I'll just drive it onto the boat. Oh, easier said than done. All right, we'll park it up here. I can't believe how big it is. That is not what she said. But we have these two vehicles now, which means we can head back with them. And then we are on our way. Blimey, he's coming in fast. Blooming out. <laughs> okay, so let's reverse down here. This thing handles quite nicely, to be fair. So we'll get it around there. Decent. Oh, I can see the horns on the front. No wonder they're so loud. Anyway, I'll bring my car over. I just wanted to get this in the boot of that using the crane. Is that so much to ask? No, I just fall through the floor. I can't use the crane. I got ripped off. <laughs> What's the point of this vehicle? It's just a big vehicle now. Well, I feel well and truly ripped off. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go shower the devs, actually. <laughs> right, well, I just restarted the game. There was a 13 gigabyte update. So maybe they fixed the crane and that. 
Uh, annoyingly, they just spawned me in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know what direction I'm meant to be going. I think it was this way. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, my crane's still there. Okay, that's that's a good sign. The question is, is it even a crane? So, jump in. Oh, it still doesn't work. <laughs> oh, balls. All right, ready? Ready? Yes, in your face, game. In your face. No oh, no, it stayed there. Oh, what? <laughs> How does the physics of that work? <laughs> that shouldn't stay there. Oh, yeah, I just, I can't take it with me. Oh, that's so annoying. Sorry, little truck. We had a good run, but I'm going to take my money and we're, we're going to leave you there. Now, two questions. One, can I get this crane fixed? I might have to go and uninstall every single mod I've got, which is fine because they're not actually doing anything. But if that doesn't fix it, I, I just wasted my money. Although I say wasted, this thing, I feel like it is actually faster than the little truck I had. I mean, it's certainly cooler looking, but that's a bit of an architecture's thought, isn't it? Oh, and they're actually quite handy because it's so much higher. You can see like when there's dinosaur bones about. So yoink, I'll be taking that, please. And yoink, there's another one. But yeah, the real reason I want this crane working is I want to try and pick up these things. An unrefined forge mark. We got to take them to the shattered outpost, but I need a working crane first. So wait there. I feel like there should be like a segment, like troubleshooting with Matt. All right, ready? F. Oh, I fell through the floor. No, it's still, it's still cocked. <laughs> oh, dear. The next day. All right, after more troubleshooting, we're back. And now when I press F, the crane moves rather than me falling through the floor. So this means two things. One, we can now pick up these little things. So if we head to about that position, turn it into crane mode. Then hopefully we can... Oh, look, we're actually creating it. Then yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's it gone? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay, we got it. We got it. Easy. <laughs> All right, then we can just bring that into there and then boosh, drop it in our boot. All right, nice. Then we should be able to drive and take this somewhere. I probably should have paid attention where I'm meant to take this. Yeah, and if I just jump out, what does it say? Take to the shattered outpost refiner. Right, well, I'm pretty sure the shattered outpost is over this way. But right, here is the shattered outpost. Oh, and I think that thing there is where we need to put this. Okay, so we'll swing it over that way. Oh, look, it's melting. <gasps> so if I drop that on there, and then we jump out. Is this doing something? Oh, have I got to wait for it to melt? Is that what that means? Well, I'm pretty sure there was another one. So maybe we can leave that melting while we go find another one. Weird. I seem to remember seeing loads of those, like, ice things. But I don't know where they all are now. I've been driving around for ages. Risking my life driving over these dodgy old bridges. Aha, I found one. Just got to make it across this bridge. Oh my goodness, I can hear it creaking. I can hear it creaking. Oh wait, that may have been Paddy's butt creaking. Anyway, we'll swing this over. Oh, am I close enough? Is it going to freak out this time? Yep, still freaking out. Oh, look, there's another one right next to it. They look like giant iced acorns. Anyway, may as well try and get both in. Oh no, this one's really firmly rooted into the ground. <laughs> oh no, I can't pull it out. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay, well, let's just drive these back to the shattered outpost and get them melted. All right, nice. We're back. Oh, what's happened with that? Oh, look, I got this. A little rock. Ooh, a forge mark. A refined forge mark, which can be applied while master working to pickaxes, shovels, drills, and harvesters. <gasps> Ooh. Better shove that in the back. So that's what these melt into. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, we'll do that next time. For now, I'll say peace, love. And this is how I do my thumbnails. Bye, guys.